play GTA 5? Because I don't want to play GTA 5. I have never been interested in any GTA game that has come out. None of them. From the from its birth, people were telling me, yeah, it's cool, you get to run around and kill people and uh, you get to uh, fuck hookers and just drive around and run people over or whatever the fuck you do in that damn game. I was like, oh, oh uh, seems it's... It doesn't sound like anything I want to play. Even at a buddy's house, I would go over every once in a while and they would be playing it and watching them. I never, ever wanted to play the game. Okay. So, going forward, I don't ever want to play a GTA game. They don't interest me. To me, they're stupid. You know what I mean? Everybody has an opinion on the game. I play Fortnite. There's people that say, that's a kid's game. Okay. Whatever. If you say so, buddy, you know what I mean? To me, it's not. You definitely need some skill, and it's in-depth, and it has a big learning curve. That is not a child's game. But if you guys say that GTA is so great, all right then. But, but you run around, and you kill zombies, and zombies, and you run around, and you kill people in GTA. What's the difference? These are the same people who tell me, <laughs> Tyrone doesn't like the John Cena character, but he likes Superman. <laughs> they're the same thing. No, they're not. No, they're not. Does John Cena fly? Does John Cena have super cool breath? <sighs> does he have super strength? Uh, does he have laser beams that come out of his eyes? No. Is he from Krypton? Is he an alien? Does he fight a super mad genius billionaire? No. John Cena is nothing like Superman. Other than the fact that you think that Superman is invincible, which he's not. You think he wins all the time, which he doesn't. And Superman has been killed. John Cena and Superman are nothing like each other. Okay? Uh, these are the same people that'll be like, Well, you're running around and you kill people in Fortnite. What's the difference? First of all, Fortnite and GTA are two different games. All right? And that's what y'all need to understand. No matter what. I mean, if we wanted to get to that level, we could do stuff like, Well, you, you like Tetris, but you don't like um, GTA. They're both video games. I mean, like, how lowest common denominator do you want your argument to be? There are video games that I like, and there are video games that I don't like. There are video games where you can shoot people. There are video games where you can shoot people that I like and that I don't like. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if any of this is registering with some of you. I mean, some of y'all got mad at me because you didn't listen to what I said in one of my videos. When I said that, I think that a game like Red Dead Redemption 2, being as detailed as it is with its killing, with how detailed it is for you to blow someone's head off and how realistic they make the characters and the, the gore and stuff like that, um, I believe it feeds people's murderous tendencies. How many dummies thought that I said it turns people into murderers? That's not what I said feeds people's murderous tendencies. So that means if you already have murderous tendencies and you got problems in your head, a game like that that allows you to act out murder gruesomely can feed that tendency. It can either be an outlet or it might make you want more. All depends. And it might not do anything to you. I don't have murderous tendencies. So I can play Red Dead Redemption 2 and be fine with it. But I'm not going around blowing people's head off because I don't have a sick, dark sense of humor or anything like that inside of me. You get what I'm saying? So, stop using the lowest common denominator with trying to argue with me to get me to play certain games. Alright? So, this video is about mainly about GTA 5, but you know me, I go out on my rants and, you know. So, I will never play them. 
It means nothing to me. Trust me, you'll catch me playing Tetris before you catch me playing that. And that goes for any other game that I tell you I don't want to play. Just because in your brain, you think it's so similar to another game, it doesn't mean that it's the same. There are people that say, well, you play Fortnite, why won't you play PUBG? Now, that's not me, because I, I think I will play PUBG. It's not out yet. It's out tomorrow, right? We're at 12 a.m. You can't say that to somebody. They're battle royals, but that's it. They're not the same game. Well, you like Street Fighter 2, why don't you like Mortal Kombat? They're two different types of fighting games. Yes, they're similar in that they're fighting games. Why don't you like both? Because one's one that I like. I like the artwork here. I like the characters, the storyline. This one I don't. Well, you like the New Jersey Nets. Why don't you like the Chicago Bulls? They're both basketball teams. You see what I'm saying? Like some of y'all don't be critically thinking. Just because a game is similar to another game doesn't mean you have to like it. You ever meet two girls that look kind of similar, but you like one over the other? Matter of fact, have you ever met twins? Have you ever met twins that look good and you like one twin over the other? Because they're not exactly the same. You get what I'm saying? There are certain things that differentiate between games and a genre. Just because they're in the same genre doesn't mean you have to like them both. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> GTA 5, nigga. But for all of you that love it, God bless your hearts. Play it until you're content. 10 million subscribers! Woo! You may now subscribe.